one thing we can establish from this is that performance has a relationship with gender, with site inspection, and with product. By the end of the presentation, we will propose to the business owner that there are some strategies you can deploy that will make this percentage increase to 81.8. So let me just show us quickly before we continue that if we focus on selling more to males and we try to get males that are interested in residential properties to go for site inspection, it will automatically increase the conversion rate to 81.8. So this is a strategy as data analysts we build for the business owners. So we're not just looking at who performed well or who did not perform well. Instead, we're looking at, is it possible to build a system where to an extent we can predict the outcome? And by the end of this class, I'll show you how to build that and how we can come up with three simple strategies that can lead to increase in sales, increase in conversion rates. In this section, we want to start creating the visuals. And we'll start with the visuals for the conversion rate. In this case, we'll use a speedometer chart. And to build a speedometer chart, on a basic level, you need two things. You need a value for the range, then you also need the value for the pointer. Let's come to this point. I'll just title it a speedometer chart. For the first one, we need the range, and we also need values for the range. The range for now, let's use color code to identify it. We need red, orange, yellow, and green. We also need a transparent part. Let's just call it white for now. The values will all be equal, 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%. We want to use a donut chart to build the speedometer chart. So the first half of the chart will be the red, orange, yellow, green, which is a total of 100. Then the second part will be 100. The total of all this will be equal to the sum of these four, which is equal to 200. Then we need the value for the pointer values. The value of the pointer will be equals the level of the payment. So we click on it and we press enter. The width of the pointer, let's just say it's 1%. Then the balance of all this will be equals 200, which is this one, minus the position of the pointer, minus the width of the pointer which will give us about this. We want everything to be in just one decimal place. Uh, format the cell, format cell to just one decimal place. Good. Then we also have a total here, which is equals the sum of all this. It should balance 200 too, because these two should have the same total of 200, 200. Let's just color code this for blue and white and we color code this the same thing blue white and gold for the speedometer charts we select this range we go to inserts go to pie chart and then we pick the donut chart so let me reduce this top here so that we have more space for the work we're doing so i click on this and i say show tabs only okay so we have more work area we don't need all these labels and the title. So click on this and say we don't need title, we don't need legend. Just click once on the chart, right click, and then say format data series. Come to this top point here. We have series options, angle of first slice. Let's change it to 270. That's the default position we will use. So it takes this one up. Then the do not size hole. It means how thick do you want this to be? So let's take it to 70. Then we click this fill button, then come to the border, and then we say no line. We don't want any line around the border. Then we double click this part, click this blue part, and we say no fill to give us the arc. So that's the first part of it. Secondly, we'll come and select these other points, copy it, then click on this chart, and then just paste it. It will give you this. So just click on the chart area, go to chart design, go to change chart type, go to combo, select 
So in combo, we we'll click on series one and then click donut chart. And then we'll click on the second one. And then we'll click on pie chart. We bring the control to the pie charts and then we say okay so now we right click on the pie charts and then we'll go to format data series we'll also change the angle of slice to 270 and then we'll press enter we'll come to the fill colors the border we we'll say no line then we'll click on this other part the gray part and we'll say no fill we'll click on this other gray part and we'll also say no fill okay so we have that pointer okay this is not supposed to happen it's supposed to be this other way but if it happens it's not a challenge just click on it again go to the change chart type this checkbox helps us to know which one to work on so if we want to take control to this one just click give control to the donut charts and then we say okay so at this point if we right click on this one then go to format data series and take it back to 270 and then press enter the angle of slice was on 70 okay go to change chart type again so now we return the control back to the pie charts okay we have the donut chart let's just test it that is working i click on this come to the pivot Table analyze, click on insert slicer. Let's bring in client gender. Let's check that the slicer is working. If we click on female, it's working. We click on male, it's working. Very good. So please, before you continue, remember to turn off the slicer. So turn off the slicer. We just delete it. Just click on it and press delete. Now we need to put labels on the do not chart. Let's call this labels. We want to start from 0% to 25% to 50% to 75% to 100% and the total of all this will be 200%. Click on the chart again, go to change chart type. Want to give control to the donut chart again. So donut chart take control, say okay. Right click on it and then go to add data labels. Now right click the data label. So I right click on any of the data labels. And I say format data label. Instead of using this actual data labels, we want to take data labels from somewhere else. So we'll click value from cells, and it's asking us where is the range. So we just mouse over this range. It's up to the 200, and then we say okay. So then we come to this point. We don't want the value to show. So click value. So this one takes the value of show leader lines. No, we don't need the leader lines to show. And that is just it. So we come down here and we manually drag this guys this is zero this is this so just patiently manually move the positions move this one here and remove this one here this is our donut chart we need to add this value 44 somewhere click on the chart area go to insert go to shapes bring a rectangular shape let's do it here first click on it come to the formula bar type equals and then click on the page which is the 44 just press enter you can see we have that value there so what we need to do now is to right click on it make the color no fill and make the outline no outline we also need to put the text in the center come to home make it bold and put it in the center you can increase the font size 16. so we have this one here click on any of the pivot table the pivot table analyze will come up click insert slicer click client gender click ok so we'll test it again female the value is changing 21.8 yes click on male the value is also changing the speedometer chart is working turn off the slicer then click on it and then say delete save your work we have that first part working we move to the next one which is the executives 